Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another first look video. Today we're going to be checking out Numantia, which is a uh, turn-based strategy game that released on Steam on October the 28th, and uh, has flown pretty much under the radar so far. Uh, it's been kicking around my Steam library for a little bit, uh, however the game does not play nice with my recording software, and so I sort of shelved it for other games that I thought would, um, or that did play nice with my recording software. Uh, but... This game does look like it might have some poten potential, so I did want to check it out eventually, and i finally gotten it to work. Although I'm recording it on uh, monitor capture, so if you guys notice, like, uh, frame rate drops or anything like that, I apologize, there's not really anything I can do about it. Um, it's just the only way I can get it to record, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, that said, I've already attempted to record this video, and the game crashed on me, so uh, I'm already having a bit of performance issues with it. Hopefully the developers can sort of iron those things out. Uh, but I'm curious to check out some actual gameplay, so let's dive in. Alright, so, um, I guess... Well, let's take a look at all the options here first. Um, I tried playing through the campaign, uh, for a couple minutes with the tutorial, and the tutorial is what crashed on me. So if we do the campaign, I will skip the tutorial, and hopefully that will uh, negate the issue. But obviously, if you're new to the game and want to learn, having a tutorial that actually works would be kind of nice. Uh, we've also got the arena here. Uh, and then you've got your, you know, options, gameplay, graphics, controls, and whatnot. Um, all you're going to get here is V-Sync, window, yes or no, and resolution. Um, that's not my monitor's native resolution. I don't know why it defaulted to that. Anyways, uh, let's see. What does the arena have to offer here? So we can select a map. Got it. And so if I were to select a map... Okay, so the Numantians and Romans. It looks like that's all we're going to get. So the Numantians were... Uh, I guess you'd call them Celtiberian or Celtiberian. Um, they're from the, I the Iberian Peninsula, which is like Spain. Uh, but they were technically a Celtic people, I believe, or sort of like a mixed people. And then obviously the Romans are the Romans. I don't really need to explain that to you. Uh, but we're not going to play this. Let's let's jump into the campaign and we'll skip the tutorial. And again, hopefully that will avoid any crashes here. Uh, oh, I have to escape. I can't just click that. Uh, I have noticed in my very brief time with this game so far that the UI is not user-friendly. Um, it is a real pain in the ass most of the time. So Numantians or Romans? Let's go Romans first. Uh, so, Republic of Rome, 154 BC. Uh, the Republic of Rome continues expanding on the Iberian Peninsula after the defeat and expulsion of the Carthaginians. However, the Romans finding strong opposition, uh, or excuse me, find strong op opposition to the conquest in the Celtiberian tribes. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm losing frames already. So, let's see. Cities and villages are subdued to the will of Rome, some by the sword and others by agreements. Uh... Segeda, one of these cities, breaks the treaty signed with the praetor uh, Tiberius Sempronius Gracchus, forcing the Roman Senate to send troops to take the city. Uh, let's see. The Segedans, anticipating the invasion, leave the city and take refuge in allied Numantia. Alright, so no tutorial. We'll play on uh, normal difficulty. You have the choice of normal or hard. Um, so we're playing as Scipio. I don't know. Is this supposed to be Scipio Africanus, maybe? Uh, so we have Praetorian Guard and Elephants and whatever all these are. I guess let's jump in and see what happens. Rome's expansion in the world is unstoppable. And Hispania is crucial to control the Mediterranean. The city of Segeda, inhabited by people of bellicose character, breaches the treaties of Graco by extending its walls. Before the arrival of the Roman army, the people of Segeda take refuge in the allied city of Numantia, which joins the war against the Republic without a second thought. This disobedience, Rome cannot ignore. 30,000 men, led by the consul Quintus Fulvius Nobilio, march to Numantia. New soldiers join the army of the Republic, among them the heroes of our history, Lucius Ovidius Acelius, Quintus Laelius Nerva, and T 
Titus Petronius Corvinus. Strangers in a hostile land, they are about to receive the Canterbury welcome. Although Charis, leader of Segeda and Numantia, dies in the attack, Nobilior loses a third of his army in a blistering defeat. The Consul, infuriated by the humiliation, mutilates the bodies of the fallen Celtiberians and swears to the gods that the Numantians will bow before the Republic. Because the world will be Roman or not. Okay, so it looks like we are at our base camp. Uh, story so far, the battle at the Mountain Pass has caused several casualties in the Roman side. The Consul Nobiliar and his advisors study the resources and silver available to continue the campaign in Hispania. Alright, so let's see, what do we got here? What is this building? The market, what's that going to do for us? Acelius, Nerva, and Corvinius. The or Corvinus, Corvinus, excuse me. Uh, those are the three characters that we saw so far. Hmm, plus five endurance to each soldier. How much does that cost? 25? I think I had like, what, a thousand? Oh, no, I have a hundred. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Because why not? And then let's leave here. And we'll check out what other buildings do we have. What is this? The barracks, sure. We'll jump into the barracks. And I think this is where I set my formations, perhaps? Move by upgrade. Okay, so I can actually buy units here. Hmm. I don't love the UI so far. I mean, it's clean and it looks nice, but it's a bit confusing as to what the hell I'm actually doing. So, I'm just going to leave this alone for now. And we'll check out... So, what is that? Left wing infantry, right wing infantry. Okay, we'll take a peek. No? Is that not a thing? Can I not... Like, why are these selectable? They're not actually selectable. Sure, whatever. Okay, let's, let's go to the Praetorium. And again, no real indication as to what this does. Uh, and, you know, tutorial would be real handy for this if it didn't crash well before this part. So we're just going to have to kind of wing it. And let's see, what is that? Auxilia tents. Yeah, I can't select that either. So, entrance can't select that. I guess let's go to Hispania and see what happens. So here we are, there's our base camp. Um, what is my goal here? Palatina. Palantia, excuse me. Uh, Intercasia or something. Hmm. Okay, so I'm here. Maybe I should go there? I don't know. This is a bit confusing. It's not really giving me any direction here. Should I go directly for? I probably shouldn't go directly for the town. In strange lands. Okay. Event. Sure. <clears throat> okay, that worked. Uh, the troops regroup after the battle with the Celtiberians. The console enraged. Oh, we already read this. Okay. Ponders which task to. Which tasks should commend to these three newcomers? Uh, what do you want to happen? So send soldier Acelius for a troop recount. Send Corvinus to investigate the mountain pass to check the Celtiberians have scouts to spy on our troops. Um, let's check the mountain pass. 
Let's see. Corvinus and the rest of the men return hours later, dragging a dead Celtiberian. We found one of these, one of those savages sniffing around the past, sir. Uh, one of the centurions examines the body, suspicious. He's seen the same attire in the peninsula, worn by the local shepherds. Okay, so we have an event available in our settlement. Let's click on this. And we'll click on that. Corvinus has found pork stolen from a village occupied by the Romans and offers it first to Aselius and Nerva. Uh, meat is a rare find among legionaries in wartime. It would mean a break from all the porridge. Aselius, uh, we should share it with all the men. Think like that and you'll die in the next battle. I share it with you so that you watch my back when we face those animals again. What do you want to do? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, how much could it possibly be? I don't think you could feed our whole army with it. But at the same time, if they don't share it with everybody, uh, our troops might find out that they're hoarding stuff and uh, not think too kindly on it. So I'm going to share with everybody. He begrudgingly distributes the meat to the rest of the troops. Unbelievable. Do you think they will share their stolen silver the same way? This is Hispania, Cretans. The only thing to be shared equally are stabs in the back. Oh, you've got a great attitude. But we gained plus 10 morale and plus 100 supplies, so I think that worked out pretty well. Alright, so what's happening here? Uh, reinforcements arrive from Africa. The earth trembles. Okay, so we gain elephants. Great. Uh, can I fight now? Yes, I apparently can. So let's click on this. Or, I don't know, but whatever this is going to lead us to, I imagine it'll be more interesting than whatever is happening now. So, let's check this event out. Oscillus. Uh, word is out about Nobilior's, uh, Nobilior's defeats in Numantia, and the city of Oscillus, ally of Rome, has changed sides by killing the Roman detachment stationed there. Uh, travel to Oscillus and put an end to this treachery before it spreads amongst more settlements in the area. Okay. So we finally get to fight. Okay, so Roman army. Um, let's see. Corvinus, Nerva. I'll start with Osilius. Can I send all of them? I might be able to. I have one of them. No cavalry. I've got one of these guys and some elephants. Uh, I guess I'll just roll with this since apparently that's all I can use. Uh, I should probably try to recruit more of these guys, but uh, hopefully this is enough. Okay, so here we are on the battle map, and we're facing off against some uh, enemies here. It doesn't look like they've brought too much either, so we should be able to handle them. Although they do have some cavalry out there that we're going to have to keep an eye on. So hold tab to start the battle when we're ready. Uh, actually, I didn't want to do that. I want to deploy a little bit differently here first. So, Hastati, let's see, there's the elephants. I don't know how well elephants can counter cavalry, but we'll see. We'll certainly find out. Aselius, I want you closer to the front. Uh, Nerva, I'm going to actually keep you over here as well. Let's put you there. Hastati, I want you up here. Velites, I'll put you behind them, and I think that works for me. Okay, so who's up first? I think we are. They're going to move up, and they're going to move up as well. Are they going to attack? Yes, they are. A little bit of damage there, 54. Lose a bit of morale as well. Their cavalry is going to move inward. Interesting choice. Okay, our turn. Uh, I'm going to start with... Oh, only my Velites can go? Right, well, in that case, I will move them up. Oh, they can't move forward. I'm going to take a morale hit if I move them there. But I think that's the only way to get them into range. Still too far. Well, in that case, I'm just going to have them 
wait, I guess. Where are all these different things happening here? Just, oh, I didn't mean to rotate them, whoops. No, face that way, there you go. Okay, end your turn. All right, here we go, elephants. I'm gonna start moving you guys up that way. And I want you to face that direction. Facing's real important in this game uh, because if you get hit on like your three rear facing sides, you'll actually take additional damage. Um, let's see, Aselius. I'm gonna have you move up to right there. Face them. And I'd like for you to attack. But first, let's see. Elephants. Aselius. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead and attack then. So it, it basically works by like initiative tier. Um, oh, did you? Oh, no, you got the better of them. Okay. Just making sure. But yeah, it works by initiative tier. So these guys are all lower initiative. They don't get to go yet. Uh, they're going to flank Aselius. And, oh, 100 damage. Yeah, you can see the, the flanks really hurt. They really hurt. So uh, let's see. Nerva, I'm going to move you to here. That should count as a flank. Eighty damage, okay. And you didn't take any yourself. Uh, Corvinius, you're kind of trapped right now, so I'm going to move the Histadi first. I'll move into a flanking position there and attack these guys. Wow, not a whole lot of damage there, and the counterattack actually did more damage. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to move you to here. And have you attack them as well. Let's zoom in so we can actually see what the hell's going on here. There we go, 50 damage. No counter attack either. So that helped a little bit. Uh, and then... Aselius, I'm going to have you attack them. Since the counter attack should be a lot less from them. Actually, none at all. Fantastic. So they're, they're going to move their slingers around a little bit. And then I'm going to get to move my Velites up. And hopefully do some damage. Oh, they're going after uh, Aselius as well. Yikes. 108 damage there. He's surrounded. That's not a good place to be. And we're going to do our best to bail him out. But I don't know if it'll be enough. Uh, let's see. They're retreating. And finally, my turn. Alright, I'm going to move you guys up to here. And then let's hit them, since they seem to be giving us some trouble. 70, not terrible. Elephants, I'm actually going to move you here. Wait, no, scratch that. Uh, I think F1 cancels it. Yeah, there we go, I'm going to move you guys here. We'll take a little bit of a morale hit, but I need to get them into the fight, otherwise they're worthless. So off they go. And then, let's see, Aselius. Um, I'm going to retreat you. Or not retreat you, but I'm going to move you there and then have you flank them. No attacks of opportunity, so we can kind of run around wherever we want. Ah, oh, man, that counterattack hit him hard. These guys are really, really good. I don't know what equipment they have, but apparently it's better than whatever my Hestati are using. And they're going to do the same thing I just did to me. Okay. Right then. So I'm going to move uh, Nerva over here and then flank their slingers. 92 damage there. Only 14 on the counterattack, so that worked out pretty well for us. Corvinus... Uh, I'm not sure where I want you. I think a head-on attack would be a mistake, so I'm going to move you to here and have you flank them. That's going to hurt his morale, but do a nice little chunk of damage to them there. Although they still have quite a bit left. 
I don't want to waste any more of your morale, so let's go for this attack here. They might not win that, unfortunately. 12 damage. Okay. So what are these guys going to do? Probably just tear us to shreds. Here comes their cavalry to demolish my Velites. My uh, elephants, not proven too useful thus far. It's been really hard to get them into combat. Oh man, they, they have crazy range. So my Velites just went down. Uh, elephants, you're going to flank their cavalry. And we'll see if that's uh, enough to actually do some real damage. Uh, it would appear so. Although we did take a lot back on the counterattack there, unfortunately. They're going to have to be the difference, however, because uh, so far not so good. We're already down two units. Let's see. Um, they're basically combat ineffective, so let's put you here and have you flank them. And that did quite a bit of damage to them. That's the way to do it. So it looks like uh, cavalry is really effective because it is mobile and allows you to get behind people. Is that going to be enough? Probably not. I mean, if we keep trading like that over here, it'll work out. I'm going to move you to there and then attack. And if you get killed next turn, so be it. But at least we'll get additional damage done there. Wow, that was pathetic. I guess, yeah, we're pretty weakened here as well. Uh, down they go. Alright, they're going to go after my elephants. Uh, apparently going to take them head on, which is probably a mistake. And we got the better of them there with that counterattack, so next turn we should be able to wipe them out. Uh, somebody just got hit. I couldn't see who, though. And you're going to do, what, 9 damage? Not a big deal. Alright, my elephants are going to move here and then hit them from behind. And down they go, so that unit is gone. Fantastic. And then let's see. They're going to go after my elephants. Do we get a counterattack there? Apparently we do not. But we'll be able to take them out next turn. Uh, let's have you move here and then finish them off. Good job. So they're down. And we can focus our efforts on these guys over here. Uh, I do need to take them out still. So let's see. Corvinus, move here and hopefully you can finish them. Uh, we got one of them. Which is unfortunately not going to be enough. Alright. Uh, they're going to do quite a bit of damage there to my elephants, but my elephants are going to get payback. Alright, so I'm going to put you here and have you attack them. Let's see. Three guys go down, so they're about at half strength. Well, less than that, but in terms of uh, troop count, they're at about half. And he's going to get put down on the counterattack. Fantastic. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to move Nerva in here to finish these guys off. Actually, you know what? Move here and finish them off. Good job. Because they were the only real threat left, so they're down. And then uh, I can send you here to finish that guy off. Great job. Okay, so that was ugly, but we did win. Very ugly. Uh, I guess we'll find out, do any of our troops come back from death, or is that like permadeath? Uh, it looks like permadeath. They've just got big fat skulls over them, so I guess we'll see. Hmm. Alright. Alright, so uh, I'm going to skip through this. We get a little bit of silver and some supplies. Uh, but I'm going to jump into the base camp here and we'll take a look at buying new units. Why is this so difficult? There we go. Yeah, the UI is kind of a pain in the ass. 
it looks it looks real clean but it like it just doesn't function how it should function so um, let's try to recruit some units and then I think we'll call it a day uh, so if I were to jump over here let's see upgrade what happens if I upgrade them I don't know again this it's kind of weird okay uh, well I'm not gonna disband them so Ah, uh, okay. I think I'd rather have... Hmm. Principes? Or maybe Triari, so... Actually, no. Principes are probably more reasonable, so I'll buy a few of them. I should have done this earlier. But I'll buy a couple of them. Um, range units are really good in this, so I'll grab some Velites as well. And then we saw how good cavalry can be, so... Let's see, Equites, Numidian Horsemen, Gallic Cavalry. I'll just take regular Equites, since uh, they're actually the cheapest. And then what other things do we have access to? Nothing... This is like the special units, like that's where the elephants were. Um... And I can't do anything with them. I can't upgrade them, though, but I don't have any option to do that as of yet. But it looks like uh, there are possibly better uh, better alternatives to these guys or just better versions of them available. Because uh, you can see here, this is like bronze, and it says 1, this is silver, and it says 2, and this is gold, and it says 3. So whether that's just them leveling up or if uh, there's new characters that are higher level that you can buy... Uh, it's not immediately clear because I have the option to both buy and upgrade on this, so I'm not sure. However, uh, that is going to be where we're going to leave it for today. So you guys have seen a little bit of the sort of campaign management as well as uh, some combat. Um, not exactly what I was expecting and a bit rough around the edges. Um, the combat plays real nice, but the UI in general is just kind of cumbersome um, which is weird because it's a very like minimalist style but there's just too many different things you need to click that don't actually do like I don't know it just frustrates me that there's like so many things to highlight that don't actually do anything uh, you can highlight something and then click a certain area and it won't go but then if you click a different area it will um, obviously if I got used to it playing the game more it would probably go smoother but uh, AI should be intuitive and I've yet to find this intuitive so that's probably my biggest gripe about the game so far I'm a bit intrigued about the story because this isn't a scenario that we see very often in games generally uh, when we're playing as like Roman Republic uh, or Roman Empire uh, it's you know usually focused in like Gaul or campaigns against the Germanic tribes or whatever uh, not too often do we get to play in uh, the Iberian Peninsula so that's kind of cool uh, but it would have been nice if they introduced probably more factions for the arena mode as well, because you only have the two factions, so uh, you're basically just replaying battles from the campaign, essentially, if you're playing that. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll leave it here, so let me, know, go, let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below. Again, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Numantia with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.